We've been telling you one of the hardest hit areas is Wynn. County officials there have reported four deaths along with many more injuries. Yeah, Talisa Hampton was out there today getting a first-hand look at the destruction. She has more on what those in the community are saying about the recovery efforts and how they're getting by minute by minute. When devastating tornadoes barrel through Arkansas. One of the many places one landed was in Wynn, ripping through the high school, businesses, and homes. So far, officials say at least four people died and many were injured. Mike Ellis says his family was lucky, but it could have been different. All the memories that we have in this house of growing up are kind of gone. Ellis remembers rushing to his mom's house in Wynn from Little Rock as he saw a tornado headed towards the area, putting her in the closet and hunkering down with his son in the hallway. We began to hear things hit the door, hit the walls. You could hear things hit and then and then glass shatters, the ears start to pop, and then you hear wood cracking and just major slams and, and just crashes. It was just total chaos. Ellis and his son covered themselves with the mattress. The mattress began to lift up and pick up, and I began to go with it, and I honestly thought at that moment that I was going to be sucked out of the house. And uh, I thought that was it. Ellis thankful he landed back on the floor, even though a piece of glass landed in his arm. Now they, like many others, are working to repair the damage. We look up and all we see is sky where a ceiling used to be. Michelle McGill's home was left standing, but everything they owned around it is now gone. We have a boat over on the other side of the house. We have a swimming pool. We have a hot tub. We had a huge deck back there. Um, th we have a huge, at least uh, over 100-year-old tree. Oh, y'all, look. But although many things were damaged, they're still finding hope. I don't know who this is. Getting helping hands from those in and out of the community. And remaining grateful they still have each other. Just take every moment that you have with the ones you love the most and make every moment count.